Okay, so th there's two parts to this problem. The first is you want to find the height of a rocket T seconds after it is launched. Uh, that gives you a formula, and so this formula is going to govern both of these two problems. The first thing we need to do is find out how many seconds after the launch, launch before it hits the ground. Well, the graph of this is going to look something like this. Okay, so when it hits the ground, and this is the T axis, and this is the H of T axis, the height, right, that H stands for height, that when it hits the ground, the um, T we don't know, but the height is equal to zero at that point. So what we want to find out is when on this graph do we get zero? Well, it's going to be negative 16t squared plus 1,000t, and I want to know when is this equal to zero? Well, whenever you don't have a, when it, both of your terms have variables in it, the best way to do it is to factor. So I need to pull a t out of both of those. So I'm going to have t, and it's going to be a negative 16t plus 1,000 equals 0. So this is factored, which is nice. So one of your answers when t equals 0, well, that's actually right here, so my graph should have looked like this. So the other answer is going to be the one I'm looking for. And so when does this equal 0? Well, just write the equation. Negative 16t plus 1,000 equals 0. Subtract 1,000, and you get negative 16t equals negative 1,000, and so you just divide both sides by, one, by, 16, by 16, and you get, or negative 16, and you get when t equals 62.5. So after 62.5 seconds, the uh, rocket comes back to the ground, because that's when the height is equal to zero. So you want to find out when is the height equal to zero, and you do it by setting it equal to zero, and then factoring, or if you can't factor, then using the quadratic formula. Okay, the second one, it says, after how many seconds will the height be 400? Well, the same problem, but this time, our height is 400, so we're equal to 400. So now, we're going to have to do the quadratic formula, or we could maybe factor it. But I'm just going to go ahead and use the quadratic formula. Uh, to start here, I'm going to change all these signs by dividing by a negative 1, just because I think it'll be easier. So you're going to have uh, a negative b, so a negative, negative 1,000 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 100 or 1,000 squared. Minus four times a, which is negative six, or which is sixteen, times c, which is four hundred, all over two times a, which is sixteen. So now we need to figure out what this is. So you should start inside the square roots. Negative negative thousand is a positive thousand plus. Well, one thousand squared is just one million. Minus, and then you got to multiply four times sixteen times four hundred which is going to give you 25,600 all over 32. I subtract those, 25,600, yeah. I subtract those and then take the square root of that. And you get uh, 987, and let's go ahead and round it for the nearest tenth. So it's going to be uh, 1,000 plus or minus 987.1 all over 32. And it says, after how many seconds will the height be? Well, there's two answers. 1,000 plus 987.1 over 32, which equals, so just do that on a calculator. So the first answer is when you get plus, and so that's when T equals, oh, divided by 32. And so it's going to be, Um, 62.1 when you do plus, and then when you do minus, and it makes sense that there are two answers, so when t is 0.4, it makes sense when there's two answers, so there, if this is 400, your two answers are right here and then right here on the 400 feet.
So after 62.1 seconds and after 0.4 seconds, those are your answers. So there's actually two answers to this problem.